Welcome back. You're watching Community Roundup. Indian Americans in Schaumburg, Illinois gathered for a protest in support of India Sudarshan TV that's demanding a fair selection process for government jobs in India. Now, the intent of this demonstration was to underline the principle that a free media is an important branch of democratic setup and any attempt to gag it would be detrimental to the right of free speech granted by the Supreme Court of India. Yeah. Sudarshan TV is an independent news media in India and its main reporter, Mr. Suresh Chavanke, has for over 15 years reported on many issues affecting the society at large. His signature program at Sudarshan TV is Bindas Board. The protesters urged Indian government to conduct a court-monitored inquiry on the questions raised by Sudarshan TV and punish those who are devaluing the free and fair selection process in government jobs. India has been a country of refuge to countless number of people who were prosecuted and tormented in their native countries. And it is one of the largest democracies and a beacon of hope for those who support the freedom of expression and upholding of the law. And any attempt to undermine them will create disharmony among various communities and ruin the cultural fabric of India. Recently, in India, the Sudarshan channel is exposing the, the conspiracy behind the UPSC Zihar. And because of that, uh, the Supreme Court of India has banned their show which is against the, free, uh, the freedom of expression and it, it is to hide the real truth behind whatever is going on behind the UPSC. Uh, there is a systematic, well-planned effort going on. But the UPA2 government in 2008, uh, to be fair, that there is a very minimal participation of Muslims in the Indian bureaucracy, came up with this great idea to allow the uh, Arabic studies and the study of the religious text to be part of one of the criteria for uh, passing a UPSC exam. UPSC exam is civil services exam, uh, which means once the person passes the exam, either they will be either in the foreign services, uh, civil services, or police services. And they will, these are uh, official uh, um, officer positions. So when the, somebody uh, comes in and they have authority, and they have no other knowledge other than the religious text. How are they going to serve a country that is based on democracy and, uh, you know, for all religions in a secular country? And we end our segment today.